shot in the arson of a Vail, Colorado ski resort 10 years ago may have been spotted near her hometown of Vancouver. For more on this investigation, we're joined by FBI Special Agent Drew Tashinsky. Uh, sir, give us some background on Rebecca Rubin. We know she's a Canadian who's been indicted for a $26 million arson that occurred in Vail, Colorado, and she's also indicted on other domestic terrorism crimes in the U.S. What are those? There's multiple incidents that she was involved in. She was involved with a group of approximately 16 other individuals that were basically focused in the Pacific Northwest as well as some down the West Coast. But they involved in uh, approximately 46 criminal incidents that ranged anywhere from the, uh, animal releases and, and um, light sabotage all the way up through to include arson, attempted arson and arsons. All right, and the FBI we know has been working with Canadian authorities, I guess, since this uh, arson, the Colorado arson, is that right, 10 years ago? Yes, we've been working through our U.S. Embassy. Our FBI personnel assigned to that embassy is liaisoning with uh, both the RCMP as well as the local law enforcement to ensure that uh, any information that we have that can affect both countries is shared between the two. And this was a massive fire. We just showed a picture of that uh, arson. It, so it's been 10 years since that arson, and finally you get what you think is a break in the case. Uh, how did that come about, and what is it? Well, it's been a long case. It's been going on for, for quite a while. They were indicted in uh, 2006. After that indictment, we actually started looking for Miss Rubin. We had a press conference in November and where we announced a $50,000 reward for any information leading to the apprehension of Miss Rubin. Since that, we've received several tips from uh, the Vancouver area that were pretty specific to the physical description of Miss Rubin, and therefore we have a strong belief that she is in Vancouver or in and about uh, British Columbia somewhere. So now that you have this information uh, or knowledge, wh how does this play out then for the FBI and for Canadian authorities? I mean, every effort, I guess, is being made to, to, to track her down. Yes, every effort is being made. We, we coordinate uh, pretty regularly through our U.S. Embassy directly with the RCMP and state and local law enforcement. And uh, we're hoping that this broadcast, as well as our website at uh, www.fbi.gov, the Canadian citizens will look at those, see the picture, and then phone in tips or email tips right into uh, our website. Or what we, what we would request is that they go to their local law enforcement and let them know that they've seen Rebecca as well. So, so if you get uh, this one suspect, uh, chances are you'll find the three others. That all four were part of a group labeled the family, and, and these were eco-terrorists, I guess, that are being labeled, right? That's correct. Because of their ideology and what they are doing, um, it basically to preserve the environment, um, they follow the ideology of an eco-terrorist. So are you pretty confident that uh, you're going to get all four now, uh, that you're, I guess, closing in or close to perhaps an arrest in one of, one of the uh, suspect, suspects here in Canada? Well, we're hoping that uh, one will lead to the next one, which will lead to eventually getting all four. We're mm -hmm. confident that we will eventually get all four of them. Are you surprised that she was found in Canada, or is this something that the FBI sort of surmised was the case? Well, we know that she's from there. We know that that's where her roots are, so we had a pretty good understanding that that's probably where she would be headed to. All right, it's a fascinating story. We'll continue to watch it. Uh, FBI Special Agent Drew Tashensky joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Jacqueline, thank you.